if you're looking for a good villain, you're gonna have a lot. You're gonna be spoiled for choice. So. Yeah. Hopefully this is something you can just use right away, as, yeah. which is our goal with maybe at least the first couple Patreon episodes. So let's uh, jump into it. Let's jump Got into it. Two villains each. Um, flip a coin. Uh, who wants to go first? I'll go first. All right. Go first, go first, Matt. Okay. Go first. All right. So uh, what what I think we'll do is we'll we'll riff through these villains. We'll talk through them, and uh, you know, in the post, you can see a link to maybe just a, a very short write up half a page one page some stats uh here's here's the concept for this film i'm gonna start with concept if that's okay that's cool with you that's good that's, that's how i started with mine so let's just right. do it all right i wrote down i wrote down on a uh a, a pink sticky note which i stuck <laughs> inside one of my moleskin notebooks bounty hunter lich um so that's my concept uh i might have more than that but uh wh what do you I got love with it. that okay Okay, um, I like the idea already, and I, we you mentioned this to me, and I was thinking about liches. Well, you mentioned something about this, and I was thinking about liches because we only have one type of lich, right? We really only have the um, the, who the, the, lich, the guy from the that lich, Tomb of that Horrors, be Asarak, the yeah. <laughs> liches, be, liches be shopping. Yes. Uh, but why is I mean? It's because in order to become a lich, you have to be a high, you know, a powerful wizard and do all these things. But what if you were a wizard or what if you got access to all those things and then you didn't want to just be an old pile of bones like, wizard what, sitting in a tomb? Like, what if you were a lich that had dreams? <laughs> exactly. What if, what if you were a lich with a job, Matt? That's right. <laughs> and, and that job? Bounty hunter. Bounty hunter. Um, so... Uh, yeah, that's that's my conceit, my concept here, and I think it, it will still work with the established lore of liches once I get into this villain's backstory. So, what? So, okay, calm Go down. On. I know I'm you're excited I'm, about I'm, this. I'm, I'm intrigued. Sorry, I don't. I don't want to just. I don't want to jump ahead. So, so go ahead. Oh yeah. So okay. So uh, names. I'm. I'm thinking. All right. I. This lich started as all liches must as some spellcaster. I I wrote down a name because all good villains na need a name, and this is uh, Korakar the Diviner. And I Ooh, just stole that like name it. from uh, a list of names of famous alchemists, which if you're looking for <laughs> wizard names... It's a good place to go. I mean, we for... had wizards. And we got we rid did. of them all. All in um, the name of science, and it's... Listen... Anime okay. learned this lesson very early. Uh, all of the famous alchemists in, like, Full Metal Alchemist are stolen from real life. You know, Hohenheim and all those guys were... Those are just, those are just German names that they grabbed. Go go pick some, like, famous Germans from the 17th century, and you've got yourself a wizard. Exactly. So, um, I'm... Here's, here's my idea for the backstory of Bounty Hunter Lich, Korakar the Diviner... Started as most liches do. Just a real shit, dirtbag, evil wizard. Came a lich, get more power. But, you know, that was probably a long time ago. A really long time ago. Maybe I'm a little influenced from Ravenloft, from that excellent villain. Doesn't remember uh, maybe too much about being Korakar the Diviner. Real stereotypical lich. Um, and then here's what I thought for a motivation for this bounty hunter lich. Um, the Korakar's lair destroyed by adventurers. Heroes came in uh, and said, ha ha, uh, evil lich, uh, your, your massive dungeon complex, we're taking that out. They took, they took it out. And you know, uh, Korakar's As adventurers are wont to do that. And you know what? They're just kind of a nuisance. They just do that kind of stuff all the time. They're pests. They're pests. Uh, maybe this happened several times, and um, every time, uh, you know, uh, Korakar's phylactery uh, reformed uh, this wizard, and uh, eventually, you know, at like every great, great villain, he has like an escape place, maybe has a ship or something, they decide to store the phylactery on, and after long ages, all that's left of this lich is that he just really hates adventurers or anyone <laughs> styles themselves as heroes, so maybe mm. a little bit of a comedic twist on this villain, but uh, liches it. are scary and deadly. So he takes bounties on heroes. 
wanders the seas, the cosmos, wherever you are setting your campaign, and uh, doesn't really care about the money. Um, anyone who comes up and says... He's in it for the love of the game. The love of the game. Obviously, he can't remember the names of the adventurers that killed him once, twice, three times, four times, whatever. But he does remember the idea of adventurers or heroes. And someone's like, I have some heroes for you to kill. He's like, uh, yes, please. I'll have some of that. This is great. This makes me think about, did you ever read the uh, the Preacher comics, Matt? No, I didn't. think about the, the Saint of Killers. Um, who is an immortal, uh, it's just a guy who kills people. Um, and it's not really like central to the plot, but he's not really uh, a saint. He's not a saint. Well, he is a saint, but he kills people. Anyway, the only thing is he kills people. He can't be killed. And he just sort of like wanders through the comics and murders people. And, um, I, I love, it's got a, it's got a Western feel is what I'm thinking about is this wandering memoryless lich visiting violence upon you know, hapless adventurers. I, I love it. Oh, that's a great idea. Wester. Obviously this is very Western. I said bounty hunter lich. Um, sure. You've seen the good, the bad and the ugly, right? There's angel eyes, angel eyes. I'll, I'll pay you anything. Right. Uh, what about like uh, right. dead eyes, right? Dead uh, eyes. As a Ooh, nickname. Dead eyes. That's his uh, working name. His working name His bounty hunter name. Um, yes. Got to have a bounty. Yeah, I mean, game. it could fit anywhere. I'm just I'm just imagining there's uh, just a, a Western feel to this, even without the the bounty hunting element, just the the wandering, the 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 tragedy of it, the, you know, indiscriminate violence. Um, I, I, I would definitely put this. Um, I mean, this is a high level foe, though, right? We're talking obviously well, a, a lich. What I wrote down in my notes and what I've sketched out in my stats is I'm thinking actually, so liches are CR 17, right? Right. Incredibly high level. You never get to like experience them until you're slinging around fifth, sixth level spells and this is an epic duel. I'm thinking maybe um, Korokar Dead Eyes is more like C level CR uh, 10, um, where as a solo single encounter, Throw it in with a party of 10th, 9th, 8th, maybe 7th level if you really want to fuck with them. Because I okay. was like, well, if Korokar has been a lich for...